How do we increase our faith? It is by listening, hearing, and receiving the word of God. I'm going to share with you today out of Romans chapter 10, Romans 10, 17, reading the King James Version of the Bible on today. So faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10 and 17, King James Version. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever and ever and ever. This verse, I believe, is is powerful and profound. It, it points out unto us the fundamental role of hearing the word of God <clears throat> in developing genuine faith. The verse clarifies that faith isn't something we generate on our own, but it is something that is ignited and strengthened through and by our active encounters with God's word and God's message unto each and every one of us. By engaging with the scriptures, we read, we preach, we are taught, we open ourselves to receiving divine insight that transforms our hearts and as well deepen our conviction. And so the verse here highlights for us the importance of continually having exposure unto the word of God. Just as faith grows through hearing, it is also sustained by a steady intake of biblical truths. And so in today's world where there are many voices that are competing for our attention and pulling for our, our actions, Paul's word reminds us to prioritize hearing and reflecting on God's message, allowing it to shape in our beliefs and as well to direct our actions. And so Romans 10 and 17 calls each believer to actively listen, meditate, and immerse ourselves within the scriptures, recognizing the scripture as a vital channel through which God builds faith within us. It also invites us to see faith as a journey that begins and deepens with every interaction with the word of God. Romans 10 and 17, Paul said, faith comes by hearing, and he is suggesting unto us an opening an open invitation to an ongoing process, a consistent, active listening to God and following his voice, listening to his plan through the scripture. And this verse implies that faith is not is not uh, static. It needs to be engaged with God's teaching. It needs to be nurtured regularly through engagement through God's teaching. Each encounter strengthens us and as well clarifies our understanding of God's character, his promises, and his divine will. And so the phrase hearing by the word of God implies that our faith grows when we hear God's word spoken unto us by others. This could mean through worship. This could mean through listening to sermons or sharing in Bible study in collect collective settings. It could mean through testimonies, listening to other believers as they enrich, enrich their own perspective. Whatever the case may be, when we hear the word of God, the word of God speaks to us and continues to build our faith and builds our character. And so Romans 10 and 17 reminds us that Faith is both a personal and a communal experience, inviting us to grow through individual study, but also encouraging us to share in experience where the word of God is given and shared. And so we need the preaching, the teaching, the exposure to the word in order for us to grow in our faith and grow in our understanding. In a practical sense, this first calls on us to integrate God's word in our daily lives intentionally. As believers, we should be feasting off the word of God on a regular basis. That, may, that might mean setting aside time for devotional. That might mean listening to faith-building podcasts. That might mean reflecting on the scriptures throughout the day. It may mean attending Bible studies, uh, whatever it means. It means that we constantly fill our hearts and our minds with the word of God. In a world that is often filled with noise and distractions, 
Romans 10 and 17 challenges us to make space within our lives for the word of God and for God's influence to direct us and for our lives to be saturated with the word of God. Moreover, Romans 10 and 17 underscores the transformative power that takes place in hearing God's word, pointing to the fact that every encounter with the scripture has the potential of reshaping our thoughts, renewing our hopes, and anchoring us in the truth. And so as we hear and understand more of God's promises and his faithfulness, our trust in him naturally will be deepened. And this faith-building process empowers us to face challenges, make decisions, and as well live with a sense of purpose rooted in God's reality rather than in the shifting circumstances around us. And so this verse also reminds us of the ability and the inclusivity of faith. Paul teaches that faith is available to everyone who's willing to listen to God's message. It's not restricted to background, to education or status. Rather, it is a gift cultivated by an open heart willing to receive divine truth in hearing God's word we are not only we not only come to know God and to know about God but to experience his presence his power and love firsthand strengthening our relationship with him and so 10 so Romans 10 and 17 encourages us to cultivate a positive listening atmosphere have a receptive posture. It speaks to the importance both of quiet meditation and active participation in spaces where God's word is being shared, whether through worship, whether through sermons, personal Bible study, conversations with others. Each moment we spend in the word of God is an opportunity for our faith to flourish and to grow. Ultimately, this verse reassures us that God desires to reveal himself to us, and he actively uses his word to build faith, guiding us, guiding our footsteps, giving us uh, a step-by-step -step journey with him through the various challenges of life by the word of God. Scripture, hearing scripture helps us. It invites us to a lifelong process of growth and development equipping us to face the challenges of life and preparing us to trust and believe God deeply in all circumstances, reminding us that as long as we remain receptive to hearing God's word, our faith will continue to be strengthened and sustained, but most importantly, renewed. In conclusion, Romans 10 and 17 captures the essence of a faith that is both dynamic and divinely sustained. It reassures us that faith is not a one-time event, but a journey that is cultivated through continuous relationship with God's word by communing ourselves with the word of God and feasting on the word of God by having the necessary commitment to sustaining a life in the word and engaging with scripture regularly. We allow God to shape it and to deepen our trust in him filling us with courage, resilience, and wisdom for whatever lies ahead. This verse is a call to intentionally prioritize God's word, letting it be the foundation for strength amid life's uncertainties. When we listen intently to the word of God, faith becomes more than just belief. It becomes a way of life. We become rooted, unwavering, and empowered by the word of God, we begin to know on a personal level who God is and what God means and how God is at work in our lives. Through the steady stream of hearing and receiving the word of God, we experience faith that overcomes, endures, and carries us forward, anchoring us firmly in God's unfailing promises Share the word of God, study the word of God, live by the word of God so that your faith can be strengthened.
Thank God for the word today. Pray that it blesses you as it has been a blessing unto me. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we thank you. <clears throat> thank you for the measure of faith that you have given unto each and every one of us. We pray and ask in the precious and perfect name of Jesus the Christ that you would continue to increase our faith and courage, that you'd continue to strengthen us, bless us, and sustain us by your might, your will, and your power. You're an amazing God. We are kept by your amazing grace and mercy. We pray and ask in the name of Jesus the Christ that you would continue to speak to us, increase our faith and our understanding so that we can live for you and as well that we can be directed by your will and your plan. Order our steps in your word, dear God. Speak to us by your word and help us to live and be sustained by your word and your promise. God, we pray for this day of worship. Thank you for this day as we start this Sunday. We pray that worship will be strong, that your word will go forth with power and with clarity, that people will be blessed in the sanctuary, <clears throat> that the worship experience will be rich, and that when we go down from worship, that we will leave there encouraged, inspired, and our faith renewed, and that you will pour into us, that you will expand our faith and strengthen us, give us courage in all things. Please hear our prayer. We pray for pastors and churches everywhere. Pray that you'll be with them and bless the worship experience. We pray for first responders and healthcare workers. <clears throat> pray for educators and administrators and teachers, civil leaders. Pray for spiritual leaders. Pray for our leaders in every facet of life. We lift them up unto you. We pray for peace in our land and peace in our world. Pray for those who are battling with various sicknesses and illnesses. We pray for healing and deliverance. We come against cancer, heart disease, lung disease, any blood disorders. We come praying for those with uh, special needs. We pray for healing and for deliverance. We pray for those who are battling and dealing with various um challenges, we lift them up unto you, God, knowing that you're able to hear and answer prayer, that you do all things well, that you are able to rule and super rule. We pray today for all of those that are on our prayer list. We pray for Pastor Sam today and lift up Pastor Sam, blessings unto him, healing and deliverance, recovery. Praying for Pastor Steve Walker, and lifting up Coach Jessica Rich, her family, praying for Dan Drummond, continued blessings and favor, lifting up Susie and John Powell, Praying for Molly Colt, Colton, Emily, and Trey. Lifting up Veronica, Ben, Jake, and Violet Foster. Continued blessings and favor. Praying for Yandi Kyles for a miracle and for your sustaining grace, power, and mercy in her life. Lifting up Stan and Tony Polk. Praying for Cheryl and Marvin Rosen. Lifting up Rolina and her son. Praying blessings for her son. Continuing to pray for Jane the Blue, Terry, and Lisa especially praying for Terry, uh, excuse me, praying for Lisa and blessings for Lisa and Ken, praying for Betty Sims, continued favor and blessings upon Miss Sims and continued blessings for her family, praying for Stan and Renee and the entire family, praying for Cheryl Grant, Pastor A.C. Stapleton, Pastor Donald Parson, Pastor H.F. Johnson, Pastor Luther Williams, Pastor Albert Haynes, Pastor Theo Barrett, Pastor Al Sampson, praying for Pastor Robert Walker, Pastor Ishan Williams, praying for his dad, Deacon Williams, praying for his wife, continued blessings and favor and recovery for each of them. God, we, we know you're moving. We know your hand is up on them. We pray for blessings in the name of Jesus the Christ. Praying for Pastor Kevin Workman, continued blessings and favor. Pastor William McKinley Jackson, Pastor Kenneth Bean, Pastor... Trent Williams, Pastor Andre Love, Pastor Aaron Reynolds, Pastor Daryl Horton, Pastor Byron Jackson, Apostle James Tucknick, Pastor Fabian Jacko, Pastor William T. Glenn, Pastor Jim Glenn, Pastor and Sister Eddie Brown, Fort Worth, Texas, Elder and Sister King, Pastor and Sister um, Deacon and Sister Jackson, Sylvester Sampson, Cartwright family, Ronald and Yvonne Cartwright, praying for Dorothy Smith, Roy Williams, Anthony Johnson, lifting up Visions of Hope Ministries, Dallas, Texas, God Breaking Free, Hope Restored Missions, All in the Family Ministries, Texas Muslims Women's Foundation, Adventure and Victory, praying for the Ryan's family, Armstrong, Braggs, Coxies, Johnsons, Rock, Noble, Howard, Sims, Calhoun, 
in the blue, Polk, Spazito, Walker, praying for Joseph and Cassandra Ghana, lifting up Shannon, praying for Cynthia Garrett and family, blessings for them, lifting up Elsie Eberhardt, praying for Kathy and Pete, praying for Doris Harris, Charlene Bright, Linda Bird, Sandra Thornton, Mother Rock, Samuel Barrett, Rahul Musafa, Derek Stringley, Kenneth Fabian in India, Nat, Calvin Teterton, Denise D. Fairley, praying for Terry Hornsby, Wendy Doty, lifting up and praying for all of those that are at the Heritage and part of our family there. We praise God for them. Pray continued blessings upon each.